Hello everyone, so let me uh, in this video show you some new features of 2023 that will help to get rid of some concerns that were raised in the previous versions. So to start with, let me introduce this model. Three parts, two with tetra mesh, green and blue, one with uh, quad mesh uh, and especially uh, a composite part. In this model we have also uh, tie contacts. So if I go to review, you see the tire contacts. Okay, uh, Q. And we have also a system, a dislocation. And last, if I go to the composite browser, right click, orient, material reference review. Uh, I have purposely uh, selected I'll define the face, the top face here, of the um, uh, red part, so that uh, the elements are aligned along the y-axis. So now what is concerned about? Uh, let's say that you want to duplicate this uh, system of three parts because um, you need another, another location of your model. Um, what you can do is sorry, just select your three components or three parts, Control c Control V, Control P, and here you can you see that you have three new components. You can drag, you can change the orientation, but if you do so and come back to the model, there is no extra contact. Um, there is no extra system there is only still one system and uh, if you go so let me change the quick selector here uh, to go for elements uh, comma by face if you come back to the composite right click orient material reference review take the elements that are on this face and this face validate apply you see that the orientation has not been changed. So, how to proceed? Uh, let me reopen this model to start from scratch. And we'll use the subsystems uh, to start with. So, subsystems, level zero, level one of understanding is subsystem is, um, you can consider it as an include, but uh, we can now do much more than just was an include. So subsystem are available under assembly ribbon. And first step is to create a new right click anywhere, create subsystem and drag and drop the entities that you want to move into uh, or replicate into your subsystem. There are few hypermesh entities, especially the part assemblies that cannot be moved to subsystem. Now that you have your subsystem you will save this its representation. So it's everything which is consist and hypermesh needs to get it saved first. So let me call it original subsystem. You can basically take any string, just avoid special characters. Um, it's a <laughs> generally a safe recommendation. So here you can click on OK. And now the next step is select your subsystem, right click, instances, create, you will find again the same selector and you will be able to rotate again in the same way you did it previously so let's say 90 degrees and now let's have a look at what we have inside it we have two groups review so there are groups related to this proper entity we have a system which follows the same uh, Excel is along the whole, so same as this one here. And now, if I go to composite, right click, orient, material re reference review, you can select your elements again, alt, alt, validate, apply, and you see that the orientation has been uh, updated. So, really, if you need to transform any subsystem from 2023, please use. Uh, subsystem you will really save a lot of time so thanks for reviewing this video have a nice day goodbye